Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for notifications. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on Twitter X. We like Twitter. You know, there's been a lot going you know, on Twitter. There's been a lot going on, but I, uh, I told a few people we lost our power from the ice storm. If anybody watches our shows, uh, maybe four shows Guys, back. Guys, we had a we really bad ice storm. I want to I want to remind everybody what I said. Yeah. Did I not say it? I said in a couple days we're going to have a dump of snow. We're going to it's going to be followed by freezing rain and this whole city's going to shut down. And was I right? It, yeah. I was right. Well, what was crazy to me was I have a four wheel drive, mm -hmm. and so I can't I. usually drive. Yeah, in this weather, no. And it, when it, but I couldn't. I you know, know the side streets. It you were on really Hawthorne, right? You were on Hawthorne, and you slid a little bit. <sighs> yeah, it was bad. Yeah. So, um, and Nancy foot fell. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about. You guys want to catch our live tomorrow? That's when we're gonna go in depth to all our adventures this week. And we had a Stephanie busy couldn't week. go live. I couldn't go. I had no power. I <laughs> injured myself. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I well, injured, you. She last, was out of town a week ago. A week ago. It yeah. Was last Friday, I yeah. injured myself. She did she fell? And I didn't know I injured myself until maybe like two or three days after I injured myself. She slipped on sucks. the ice, man. She fell right on yeah. the back. Yeah. Watch tomorrow's show. Uh, well, what I want to cover today in this little video is just sort of setting up more of what we're going to talk about yeah. tomorrow with the Jamaica trip, the trip to Kingston, Jamaica. Obviously, when I saw this, I was just like, what? Harry and Meghan, for some reason, end up in Jamaica for the One Love Bob Marley biopic oh, movie, imagine. the new one. It's not a documentary. Oh, I it's with actors. Oh, and, and Okay. But what see, this nightmare. is the thing. I'm a huge fan of Bob Marley. She is. Okay. I'm not like a fake fan like Megan. Yeah. I'm, I am a huge fan of Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. And um, I even went to like a reggae festival once. You did? And I yeah. was like well, rocking out. I can't really. No, but I was. I've seen a ton of movies. They've done a ton of movies on this man. They've done documentaries. I personally am more into documentaries yeah. when it comes to a legend like Bob Marley. Yeah. I'm not into this. Same, same. Yeah. And. The reviews, unfortunately, are not going to come out for this movie until February 14th, the day it opens. They're not even letting pre-reviews uh, come out for this, which is not good on their end because it proves that the reviews must not be good. But I have heard rumblings that it's very confusing because the actor, though talented, yeah. The actor they chose to play Bob Marley, it's very distracting because he doesn't actually look like Bob Marley. That's annoying. Yeah, they are being very quiet on the reviews. But after February 14th, we can go on to Rotten Tomatoes and give our opinion. I have to be honest with you, dude. Yeah. I would never have known this movie even came out unless this happened. That's the thing. So there uh, you go. Okay. Say la vie. So Harry and Meghan decide to fly to Kingston, Jamaica after... <laughs> Telling everyone at the Aviation Awards mm -hmm. that the reason Megan was not there was because there was a sick kid at home. <laughs> I guess the kid somehow got better. Yeah. But uh, whatever kid it was, yeah. <laughs> um, could have been the neighbor's kid. We don't know. We yeah. don't know for sure. We don't know which children was the, sick. The kid was not <laughs> verified. It could have been anybody on the block. Yeah, but they... Uh... So that's why Megan was not at the Aviation Awards, but she shows up in Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> now, what's interesting about showing up in Kingston, Jamaica is... And I want to thank all the internet sleuths out there for giving me this information. I didn't know this. I mean, we've been to Jamaica before. Mm -hmm. It was... a We had a wonderful time, I but this Jamaica. was back in the... I want to say... Well, we were there. 90s. Yeah. Um, the people are very friendly, very warm. We had a good time. We yeah. felt safe at the time, but yeah. apparently it's not safe to go to Jamaica now, especially if you're an American. I want to thank at Rip Beagle Guy on Twitter because uh, he, this person put up the U.S. State Department issued this travel alert about Jamaica on 1-13-24. Mm. Violent crimes such as home invasions, armed robberies, S.A., and homicides are common. S.A. occur frequently, but the unsuccessfuls 
didn't attend the Golden Globes because of security concerns. If I felt so scared yeah, about my security mm -hmm. and my wife and my wife yes. and taking care of her, yes. I, I would just, I would just see that alert from the U.S. State Department and think maybe going yeah. to this premiere that we have nothing to do with. No, we have nothing to do with this. Premiere. We have nothing to do with no. this premiere. Won't even know about it. We don't know anybody in the movie. I have no clue. We don't know anybody associated with the movie. I, none. I, producers? I don't even know the producers. The last time they were in Jamaica, to they were there for a wedding. Yeah, and, and then we saw how country. that went. Yeah. She was rude to the Jamaican uh, waiter. Well, she was rude to everybody. Everybody in Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. So let's play a video of them arriving in oh, Jamaica, God. and we will uh, react to that. <laughs> so I see these two come out, and um, she is dressed in her finest ball gown. God. Now, the <laughs> we'll get into what she's wearing uh, after this. But they look very confused. Mm -hmm. They look like they, they, they yeah. didn't have any plans. Now, I can talk from experience that you get a rundown like when you're a celebrity and you're going to mm -hmm. an event like this or if you're going to like any sort of uh panel or anything red carpet you get you get a you get a rundown mm -hmm. of like where to go mm -hmm. and you can either give it to your handler or you could be a normal person read it yourself and figure out where to go and even if you don't have a handler there they provide handlers there on they, the red carpet they do so they're already super confused on where they're going. Where do we go? Where do we go? Now, what? she has a new handler now from the time of the Variety oh, the, Awards. Yeah, that yeah, woman's gone. Yeah, the, the push. Hand. She's got a new handler now. Yeah, push her out of the yeah, way, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they go onto the red carpet and they start taking pictures with the CEO of Paramount and his beautiful wife. And now that's a dress. Yeah. With her. Now Look she's dressed she beautiful. Perfectly. Yes. yes. For a premiere yes. in Jamaica. Her hair's down. Mm -hmm. It's flowing. Beachy. Very beachy, white. She looks Aunt perfect. Beautiful. 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 Megan is dressed like she's going to the Oscars. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. But with a tank top. You know what she kind of looks like? Mem remember uh, the year after Gwyneth Paltrow won the, the Academy Award? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. That Stella McCartney thing? Yeah. It's almost like that. Well, I'd like to tell you that Carolina Herrera mm -hmm. did the skirt. Okay. And obviously everybody and their mom mm -hmm. were going back to that awful, God. awful look she had. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. I mean, and it's obviously oh, a cry. Man. It's obviously a cry for attention, guys. Yeah. I mean, there's no way someone could be this stupid. And I heard, I believe it was Sue Smith on on Twitter. Um, she put up the the skirt, and I guess Carolina Herrera had um, wanted anyone who bought the skirt to wear a like white collared shirt, like tucked in, yeah, to sort of make it in a little more. Um, casual yeah. you know megan for some reason wore this crazy tank top i think she's trying to prove that she's pretty that's what i think she was trying to do okay. i think she well, is i mean let her i think that. i think she was trying God she was awesome. trying to be sexy on top kind of like a mullet she was trying to have you know uh business in the front and party in the back that's what i think yeah so she wore a mullet. she wore a mullet so harry was uh they were both very confused as they walked out of their car they didn't know where they were going this is the uh picture of them with the ceo of paramount and um Oh, this is, and tomorrow we're going to really get into this. This just broke that Duchess of Success is doing some sort of scam. What? But we'll get into that tomorrow. Oh. Watch tomorrow's live, guys. I got all that tomorrow. It was just, she was trying to do that. You remember like during her suits days yeah. and even before that, she was trying to like, yeah, that pouty, like weird look. She's doing that again. Yeah, yeah. Now look at the guy's wife. How natural oh, she is. Gorgeous. They're also saying, um, you know, Megan and Harry went as their guest, and it was sort of a last minute thing. Well, but but what they're saying is they're saying they don't really seem like friends. No. Because friends, you know, wouldn't look that confused when they're, you know, ushering them all. It just yeah. the whole thing just looks awkward. Uh, Megan, I probably do you really think Megan has a black friend? <laughs> no, I, a woman, a woman, black no, friend. No, no, no I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I, I no. didn't mean that disrespectfully, but 
No, not Megan at all. does not. Have I don't a, think it's disrespectful. I, I think well, it's a fact. I'm just saying I don't think she has a black woman friend. <laughs> no, so that not, that whole friendship thing. Yeah, no, but that's what they're trying to. Push. Yeah, and I know tomorrow in the comments you guys are going to tell us like you know the I know I know we have more in depth details on what happened with this this particular. Yeah, this couple. show's just showing that we're not we're dead just, from the yeah, from we're the just trying to lay down storm. the we're just trying to lay down the the train tracks. So there's the new handler. And I really wanted you guys to see Megan's face and Harry's face. Mm -hmm. When the handler says something to Megan, you can tell Megan is not happy and Harry's going to get the brunt of it. Yep. That look on his face right now is terror. Yeah. That well, is terror. What I think happened here is the handler was like, no, you guys are just going to go in. And she's like, well, what about posing with yep. uh, that guy and his wife over mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, I don't think they know that you guys are going to pose with them. It's like, well, we'll just go up there and yep. see what happens. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and let's just That's do exactly it. That's exactly what happened. That's, argue. She yeah. argues. She's very um, combative. Yeah. So that's the that's the thing I got. And there's going to be more of uh, clips in yeah. here that I actually slow motioned. But yeah, Harry's like, oh crap. We're and he also looks like he just realized that he's yeah. crashing this event. Mm -hmm. Oh, he he, he just realized it. He absolutely like, realized I that. I think that Megan told him they were invited. That really upsets me because they're almost thinking that the people of Jamaica aren't as, you know, equipped to handle the red carpet. They're almost like, we'll just go crash it. Yeah. They won't care. But you can see that they're so organized. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But Harry and Meghan are always looking they down on the club. A, a they're cr always looking in the down room. on on people of color. Do you notice well, that? Well, it's not just that. It's that. In the Commonwealth. Look at, look at, we're going to get into when they get actually into but the that theater. that irritates Which me. is like, you know, it looks like a yeah. sticky movie house. And you guys know what I mean when I say sticky movie house. <laughs> you go into a theater yeah. and the and the and everything's sticky. Um, mm. Yeah, no, you know what I mean. Yeah, a I sticky it. movie yeah, house. I don't like that. Um, so uh, Harry definitely is not accustomed to this. He's not. He's accustomed to... The Royal, the Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So again, uh, still arguing with the handler. Yeah. And then Look at her face. what it looks like is the uh, CEO of Paramount and all those people are finally like, well, you can come with us. Yes. But you notice the handler, though, is making that expression that most people have when they're very uncomfortable, but they're still putting on a smile because they have to show class. Because if they if their mask falls, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. They're, <laughs> could you imagine at that point if their mask falls and then they're just like, oh, God, I'm getting paid. She doesn't want to get fired. No, no, exactly. Who, who wants to get fired by in this Megan. economy? By Megan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, yeah, that's not good. We'll be covering that again on our live. Yeah, I want to hear everybody's opinion on this. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, we just Megan just, just railroads over her. See, they're already there for pictures, stationary. and they were like, "Just let them come with us. Yeah, it's fine. Just let them come with that us." That is awful. Like they're so gracious, you know. And you can also tell those are two people. Look that, at how look she at that face. puts out her chest. Yeah. Like that. Puffy. She has to go in front of not only her husband, she has to go in fl front of that beautiful black woman. Do you notice that? Oh, of course. But why put your body? And I, look, would, I would go behind. If I was a guest, oh, yeah. I'd go behind. Well, also, also, that woman knows where to stand yeah. with her husband. And that you know, like when I go, yeah. when I go places with my boyfriend, uh -huh. I, do, I walk a step behind me him. i've always done i that have with mine. never gone in front of my i have boyfriend. always done that with my that is in, too. even at the airport i no, walk I've behind never, him yeah. that is insane she it's doesn't, disrespectful she doesn't care she just doesn't care oh man just the faces guys i mean look, look at, at harry, harry sweating sweating profusely oh this is so uncomfortable and that's again we're going to talk about her face um yes yeah, somebody has the, a theory about well, i don't the know tape. i know exactly what's going on yeah. she has face tape on yeah so now we're going to get to the part where you think they're done with pictures and they're going to go in oh god no. but then all it's of a Megan. sudden the prime minister of jamaica comes Jeez. on the red carpet with yeah. i i think it's his sister-in-law mm -hmm. and out of the blue Megan and Harry bogart their way into that. Shocking. Shocking. Now, 
I'm going to get way in depth into a video about uh, Jamaica Commonwealth mm -hmm. and them wanting to become a republic. That's not going to be tomorrow's live. I want to go in depth because I, I, I have been reading about this. I'm just going to say this for now. Jamaica, nobody's stopping you guys. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to be rude to Princess Catherine and Prince William. They are fine with it. It's okay if Go you break it. away. It's okay, but you don't what? have you don't have to be mean in the process. Yeah, you remember Barbados? Who was dancing with you on Independence Day? I remember it was Prince Charles. Yeah. He was there. Well, King Charles now, but Prince Charles, Prince of Wales at the time, mm -hmm. was there on the Independence along with Rihanna dancing. Yeah, it's it, it's almost like they have to say, "Oh, we're anti-monarchy." It's like That's we fine. don't. That, it, okay, okay. There, there's then a don't reason. Do it. Listen, Jamaica, we know there's a reason you don't want to break away from the Commonwealth, and that's what I'm going to get into an in-depth video because that makes me so freaking mad oh, that you guys are trying to fool people, acting as though that. Don't say you guys because no. I really I get really upset about that because I, I I hear where you're coming from, and you and I always have different opinions, and that what what makes the world go around but nancy i don't want to say you guys because the people of jamaica love oh no, no king no, no, charles no. Nancy, the that. people of jamaica oh. love princess catherine and you have to stop it's, saying you guys it is that guy it is the funny. government well it is the people let's the high up okay it's it is not the people it's interesting you should mention that stephanie oh. here is a uh tweet from the pm of jamaica and he put these uh, lovely pictures up during the meeting. I had the pleasure of presenting Prince William with a special blend of Ruby Appleton rum hmm. created by renowned master blender, Joy Spence. So anyways, King Charles has been going to Jamaica forever since he was a young boy. Here he is with the Princess Royal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they went there with their parents. There's, you know, the Jamaicans love him and he would completely support their independence. He's not going to stop them. He's not going to stop anybody in the Commonwealth. But that's going to be another video because I, get, I, I have so much to say about this. There were some Sussex squad people that were bringing up this moment and he was handed this hat. Now, Stephanie, you and I have visited a lot of foreign countries in our life. Mom and dad have uh, given us a, a, a great cultural experience. They have brought us to many, many different places. Mm -hmm. Do you refuse something when somebody hands you something? No, no, you don't. So this woman was gracious enough at this market to hand him this. She wanted him to put it on and he put it on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you take this picture out of context, yeah, it's going to look stupid. But look how happy she is. She's so happy because guess what? You, a bunch of white, dumb American tourists come every year to Jamaica. Yep. They get their hair braided on the beach. On the beach. Yep. They buy these Rastafarian hats. Yep. Now, I remember when we went to Jamaica, these wonderful women mm -hmm. in the shops wanted to braid our hair. And my mom graciously said no she, mom made something up she said oh no they get headaches or something yeah. but i remember later mom saying no it wouldn't be appropriate, wouldn't be appropriate for you for pictures, to yeah. wear your hair like that yeah and i remember but, mom saying that but there are ways of saying no and there are ways where, where you sometimes have to say yes I remember an episode of real housewives of orange county where they went on a trip to jamaica and the bus driver who was taking them to the hotel handed out that those hats to every single yeah. girl on the bus because it was just it's something that they do and you have to sort of respect what they Jamaicans you know don't I mean? see that as they racist don't see they that. see that as sharing their culture with people and that was something that woman wanted to do so yeah. again there there's there's so many things going on right now as far as Sussex squad taking advantage of this situation and we're and also going to so talk stupid. about why Harry and Meghan would ever take a picture with someone who is anti-royal that seems a little well, everybody they take pictures no, with. No, Tyler I'm, Perry. Nancy, I'm just saying it's so interesting because Harry and Meghan uh, have all these have all these uh, regrets now about about doing all this well, stuff. No, they, they, they they're regretting no, all they, this. They don't they don't say they have regrets. They say that they never wanted. It. They oh, wanted, they never said it. They they never, they never wanted to get out of the monarchy. They right. wanted to just do it like half half of the time. Yeah, that's the hypocrisy. They still wanted to do it. No, I hear what you're saying. They have nothing against the monarchy. But it, it really is. It's just so ridiculous. So they're never going to get back into yeah. the royal family at this point. So here is the, uh, oh God, here they are. This is so embarrassing. Bogarting their way to take a picture with the prime minister.
It's really strange. Um, Prime Minister, he's got that dumb grin on his face. Again, I don't respect this man. He's not for the at people. All he's not for the people. Because I don't like the way he treated the Waleses when they were there. I thought that was so rude. He did not have to say that to Prince William. Yeah. That was that was very unnecessary. So they walk into the theater. Now, again, <laughs> the first thing I thought of when I saw <laughs> this theater. <laughs> And this is nothing against the Jamaican people. This is just they have the worst luck when it comes, when it comes to an entrance. <laughs> they just have the worst luck, yeah, it's guys. It's not going to work. Well, they're not getting invited to actual events that that will <laughs> look at that There's now look at her i slow motion it i know you got like like the the popcorn yeah. and the and the old yeah. uh hot dogs yeah. that are on the thingies <laughs> the shriveled up hot the dogs have been there for a year and a half you, you got the juji fruit yeah oh the, it's the like the that Seinfeld. Fruit. yeah it's like that Seinfeld episode <laughs> where they go to that older theater and then kramer eats the hot dog yeah. that's what that is that's funny where is the popcorn uh oh, all the people treats. people are eating it in the theater oh, okay. <laughs> yeah so i just slow motioned it she says hi i don't know who she's saying hi to i really don't <laughs> and then her mask slips for like two seconds oh, she yeah. goes down like this you think like it can't get any worse you know she's wearing the most inappropriate outfit she's not dressed like anybody else in the theater <laughs> it's some movie theater I don't know. And then, it, and then I even checked. I said, well, maybe it's associated with Bob Marley. That's why it's at this weird little, you know, regal cinemas. It reminds me of regal cinemas in Portland. We have regal cinemas and it's just like sticky. That's what I always, I never go to the cinema anymore because oh it's God. sticky. And uh, Nancy's opinion. That's, this theater. is my opinion. Yeah. Okay. So here they are coming into the theater and the guy is like, yeah, man, you're just you like right down there in the sixth row. Just go down there. <laughs> and <laughs> Harry, now look at Harry. Oh, God. Look at his face. He is, he can't believe it. Well, yet also, he and also when it. you're under the influence, the last thing you want to do is sit in the middle of a theater because you can't oh, go out to smoke. God. You can't go out to stretch your legs so and you can't bad. go to the bathroom. Oh, man. Who sits in the middle of the theater? You need an exit point. Also, the lights are so glaring yeah. and everybody immediately when they sit down starts taking selfies it's of just them. insane it's insane and he knows it he stops for a second mm -hmm. and he's you could tell he's unhappy he does not want to sit in the middle like that because whenever prince william and princess catherine go to the baftas they sit in yeah. the front in on the aisle, the aisle yeah period yeah that's that's just where the easy access yeah so look at this. I mean, look how tiny oh, the rows are. I would that, die. That dude's wearing a hat back there. Oh, now God. watch, they immediately get their phones. Because these women, these women are not part of the movie. The the people in the theater, these people are just going to the premiere. That's what I'm saying. It's super chill. They're super cool this people. Is not They're like, just like everyday cool yeah. people. So like, She's Here it is. It. She's getting it. These guys, they can't stop taking pictures. I then zoomed in. Harry and Megan, Megan looks immediately pissed off because nobody's sitting next to them. The PM's not sitting next to them. <laughs> the CEO of Paramount is missing in action now <laughs> and his wife. They don't even know who they're sitting next to. Yeah. They're sitting next to this other couple. And they're sitting behind kids that are going to be munching on their popcorn the whole time. <laughs> this woman's got her popcorn that she's already munching. And they're just going to, they know for a fact they're going to get filmed the entire time. So mm -hmm. Megan is telling Harry something and the handler. She's she's royally upset yeah. right now. And Harry, Harry is uncomfortable. And he's just uncomfortable because this just is so foreign to him. He needs to go smoke and, you know. So he gets up real fast. She's and mad. Some people thought that he stormed off. I think he, she was either saying, "You better get us better seats, or you better get that couple back, or the PM, or he better be sitting." Or we in better go too. But it was obvious that they put them amongst the uh, uh, normal people. Yeah, I want to say normal people. Yeah, like they don't like that though, and they don't like they that don't because, like common people. Yeah, yeah, how you do like she always looks her nose down on. People. Yeah, like Hollywood premieres. Like I and I know I keep bringing up Mr. and Mrs. Smith, but like how that <laughs> works was you know. Uh, 
Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, they did the red carpet. They didn't actually sit in the theater and watch the movie. Nobody ever, like whenever you see the premieres, like whenever you see like the Marvels or whatever, they're not really sitting in the Unless theater Unless you're with at the people. Venice uh, Film yeah. uh, Institute and you the, have to do it. Yeah, but then you sit with your cast, cast and you're yeah. in a box. Right. And it's just, this is very strange. Here's another angle of them sitting down. He looks like he's had enough. She looks upset because she is in the, you know, common area. And she's also in a ball gown. You can really see, and I'm, we'll talk about this on live again, that face tape thing. Because if you see her hairline mm -hmm. on the on this particular shot, you can see the, the neck of her hairline is pulled extremely back. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And that is called face tape, and she definitely used it. It's a Kardashian trick. Mm -hmm. Everyone does it. Yeah. Here's Harry's face. A better look at Harry's face. He just, I mean, he's broken. Man, that is one broken man. That he's is broken. not a thriver. That's no. not a thriver. You don't think he wants to be in Jamaica doing something good. He doesn't want to be doing this. Exactly. He, the last time he was in Jamaica by himself, yeah. he was with Usain Bolt. He was, he was bringing attention to AIDS and, yeah. and all these charities. And you should have seen how good he looked no, and how I happy know. he was and how yeah. well he did with the people. Yeah. No, he's slipping. I don't even want to know how bad the conversation was on the ride home. Yeah, and, and that ball gown takes up five seats. See, that's the thing. I don't think she realized, but I mean, look at how inappropriately dressed she is for this <laughs> cinema. And it's almost like she's showing, I'm better than everybody. I'm no. better than everybody. I don't like that. She's yeah. so, she is just so just, ugh. Classless. Classless. But we have also a, a TMZ video that we're going to play tomorrow that goes into it. And I found the TMZ video interesting. And, and so you the, talked about this yeah. Also. And the reason I found it interesting was because the Kardashians and Ari Emanuel pretty much own, own TMZ, TMZ yeah. with Harvey Levin. And, and <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying <laughs> is that's they're all connected. Yes. And they were sort of not being that nice yeah. they were not under they people um like sussex squad are pretty much their consensus is they can't even go to a premiere without getting um hounded by the racist british press well this is tmz and americans mm -hmm. and we're even wondering what these two were doing yeah. at a bob marley premiere well and it in also, kingston jamaica well i i it also proves my theory that um ari emmanuel and the kardashians and tmz and whoever is behind this obviously we know who's behind this yeah. the hollywood people um they're definitely making money off their misery harry yes. and megan are gonna go down guys and it's gonna be hard and when it happens we're gonna know who's gonna get paid and these people the netflix people are gonna get paid the paramount guy is gonna get paid yeah tmz is gonna get paid kardashians are gonna get paid yeah okay and and this is the takedown and it's happening now yeah so you're witnessing it no it's, it's bad. It, it may be a little slower than you want it to be but it's gonna happen yeah. soon yeah today's animal rescue we got from our friend on twitter joe didley she sent us this uh wonderful animal shelter nancy what's it called it's called lovina animal welfare and they are located in bali beautiful part of uh the world mm -hmm. in indonesia and they rescue animals they provide food and equipment they set up shelters they do costs for veterinarians and i checked out their site guys i'd love it if you guys did too i will put their link in the description below they do some wonderful work yeah I mean, go on their really web, great go on their website guys and give it give what you can it's always not you know you can give a dollar yeah give or, it two dollars or just share uh the, the link, link and, share the link or just read about them so it does really help so we thank um joe didley, joe didley. for thank sending you. us that yeah we, and we, love, we love when you guys send us something because we we love getting some knowledge on stuff that we don't really know yeah. about you know so. yeah that's beautiful. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow in yes. our live. So get ready because woo. And uh, we're happy we're back. Okay. <laughs> no more ice. No, no more, more ice. ice. No, no more, more ice. ice. Bye. Love you.